Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing today? Today is Saturday, December the 30th, I believe. Yeah, 2017. Uh, I guess we're going to start this vlog out. Um, I'm going to try this for a while. I know I've still got the shaky camera, but I'm working on trying to get a new one. I don't want to waste my money and buy some generic camera that I'm not really going to like. But again, I don't want to spend a fortune on a high-end camera. Try to get like a mediocre camera, you know, something that'll work. Um, looking at probably like a GoPro or something like that. They, they seem to work good. You can you can get them pretty decent price. Uh, you can buy them off Craigslist, Facebook. You can go to the store and buy them, you know, three, four hundred bucks. Four hundred bucks is kind of high, in my opinion. But, anyhow, yeah. Uh, right now, I'm going over to my aunt's house. Um, her and her husband both are having some check engine light problems, and they're wanting me to read the codes on the check engine light. So, that's what we're up to right now. We'll go over there and find out what it is that's popped up, what's causing their check engine light. Uh, we've got some good news coming for you guys. I um, guess I'll go ahead and say it. Uh, it's been, you might as well say, January the 3rd, 2016 was the last video that I did mower related. So, um, there, there has been a little spark in my interest lately. So, we'll get into that here in a little bit. But, uh, we're just about to my aunt and my uncle's house. I live in a really small town. Population, I think it's like 1,800 maybe. Somewhere around there. At least, that's what the census say. We got more that live here, but... Anyhow, yeah. Uh... As soon as I get done, I'm, I'm just about here at my aunt and uncle's. I'll be here within like 10 seconds. Um, I'm not going to record me at their house because they're not going to like that. So. Hey guys, what's up? Saturday, J nope, way ahead of myself. Saturday, December the 30th, 2017. Uh, we're gonna start this vlog out. We're gonna try this stuff for a while, see if anybody likes it. Uh, we are headed right now to go pick up some stuff. Um, I've already, if y'all follow me on Facebook, or you're in some of the, the groups, pages and stuff that I'm in, you, you probably already know, but for those of you that don't, <clears throat> after two years, since my last video, two years ago roughly, January the 3rd, 2016, I'm about to get back into the mower scene, uh, building some off-road and lawnmowers, if you will. Um, sorry for the shaky camera. Uh, no need to bash me over it. I'm in the works of trying to get me another camera. I just... I'm not rich, so I can't really afford to go give seven, $800 for no camera. Uh, I'm looking into probably getting something like a GoPro or something like that. Uh, if you look around, you can get them cheaper than, you know, most. Uh, I'm just going to get one 
probably off of Craigslist. Uh, some people don't like to chance that kind of stuff, but I'm not you. Uh, anyhow, right now we are on our way uh, to pick up some mower parts that have have been given to me. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'll do with them. I mean, I know I'm going to use them, but uh, we've got a couple of kids here in town that uh, they are subscribed to my YouTube channel, and I've helped them out, and I've, I've given them stuff. They've uh, One of them has bought one of my old uh, Sears Suburban mowers from me, and uh, he put him a side shaft motor on it, and he's been having a blast with it, which is good. Uh, I'd rather see kids out here doing stuff like that than out getting in trouble. Uh, you may see them in some future videos. Uh, I know you'll see one of them today, uh, but later down the road they may go romping with me and stuff, you know, after I get this stuff built. Um, I'm getting back into it because I've had a little bit of an itch for it lately, but uh, also, <laughs> for you mud mowing people there's been a little bit of controversy stirred up uh, lately uh, from somebody's video that uh, <sighs> anyhow yeah it's got me motivated to want to get back into it uh, I do miss it I had a blast building the stuff and if I'm being honest, I have more fun building than I do romping them. Don't get me wrong, I have fun romping on them, you know, doing mud and stuff like that. But uh, I really love the challenge of uh, building something. But anyhow, with that being said, I am going to get back into it. Uh, I've already got the hood and the back fenders off of an old Huffy motor. I never got rid of those. Every, everything else is gone that I used to have. I don't have nothing. I don't have a pulley. So I'm completely starting out at scratch. Uh, zero zip nada. Um, but I will say this. To you, those of you that are going to say, well, he's copying somebody else. Or why don't you be original and do your own thing? Pay attention, people. Because there has been so much stuff done in this field. And yes, I have been keeping up with it. I may not be real active on the sites on Facebook about it. But I do keep up with it. But there's been so many people do so many different things. It's hard not to do what somebody else has already done. It's not necessarily that you're copying them, but if it works, why not do it? I mean, it's not like you're building it for them. They're using their hands, their money, uh, their supplies. They're doing the work, they're building it themselves, or you know, having help doing it anyhow. You're not building it. Uh, all the previous videos that I've got of my mower bills and stuff, I've not once said something, well, somebody copied me. I didn't, they didn't originally design that product. I don't care if I designed it or if I'm copying it. I've used tons of other people's ideals. I've done stuff that other people have done. Did I take credit for it? No. But, I've done it. Yes, I've had some of my original, my own ideas. And I'm sure people have done some of the things that I've done. But the whole reason of me doing this is because I love taking something that's not meant to be and turning it into something that's really cool. And I love the aspect of uh, getting my son involved, my friends. But at the end of the day, they're still riding lawnmowers. We've just modified them. Uh, you don't hear people crying about somebody building a drag truck saying well somebody else has already done that 
or that wasn't his design, you know, so what? If you like it, do it. So have fun at it, you know. If you're not out, you know, freaking doing drugs or something, hey man, I'm, I'm glad that you're doing it. That's all this world needs is some more crackheads. I don't know, maybe crackheads on lawnmowers. Nah, it wouldn't work. Anyhow, uh, we're almost at this gentleman's house. Uh, I'll stop ranting right now. May continue later. But uh, we're almost at this kid's house. We will uh, we'll pick his video back up in just a few minutes. Alright guys, sorry for the wind. We're right here at David's house. Say hey. Hey, uh, Look at all the goodies he got back here. And some dogs. Um, Y'all got a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, but I do not remember the name off the top. It's the Random Garage 88. Random Garage 88. Check him out on YouTube. Uh, he's going to hook me up with a rear end and a motor. Uh, he's got an opposed motor, right? And how big? 18 and a half horsepower. Brakes straight and opposed. And a peerless 820 rear end. So, um, we'll go ahead and cut this part because I've got to get it loaded. It's freezing out here. So, anyhow, yeah, he's got some pretty cool toys back here already, I can tell. So, but uh, we'll come back uh, on the way home. Well, there you guys go, as you can see. Uh, like I said, he uh, he just gave me a Peerless 820. Uh, don't know really nothing about it other than it is a good rear end. It's got the uh, the short shifter rod. You know, I kind of like those better because it's, the longer ones they're okay. And, you know, I'm sure everybody runs them. I've ran them, but uh, the shorter ones to me they're a little bit more beefier because it's not as long you don't get a lot of flex on it not that you if you if you snap that shifter right off then you're uh you're jamming a gear way too hard or something anyhow but peerless 820 uh i'm not sure if i'm gonna lock it or, or not i uh i might dock lock it uh, I might even do fearless fronts locking, me you know, method. Uh, just, I'm not sure yet. I may just leave it open. I've always left mine open. I've, I've never locked them. Uh, to be honest with you, I wasn't a fan of them. But, uh, anyhow, yeah. I do want to apologize for, for, uh, I guess you could say taking the time off but um, if you've not been following my builds since my mower builds uh, I built my son a truck um, I took time off to do that it's a 1984 Chevy C10 uh, we've LS swapped it but uh, it's gonna be his first vehicle so uh, taking time off to build that I do have videos on it but uh, to me, that was more important than doing the mowers, you know, because it's my son's. Um, like I said earlier, I am starting out from scratch. Uh, I am actually on my way to another guy's house right now. Um, I was talking to him last night, and he is going to give me a Murray. I love Murrays. Um, I'm not gonna say they're the best because you can take anything and turn it into whatever you want it. Uh, it just takes a little bit of will and determination. Uh, I don't know kind of what direction I'm gonna go yet. All I know is it is gonna be a toy in the end. It's gonna be something to ride and play on. Uh, 
I'm not going to call it no budget bill because I'm going to have to buy stuff for it. But during the two years that I've been off, I have learned a lot of stuff. Not necessarily about mowers, but more stuff about fabricating stuff. Um, I've acquired more tools. I now have a, uh, I've got a plasma cutter. I've got a 220 wire welder. I've got a, uh, a band saw. I've got better grinders. I got chop saws. I've even got heat in my shop. Man, coming from where I was, man. Well, the last, the house that I was at, I've even moved. The house I was at in the last mower video, I had a heater in the shop also. Um, but I have moved. I've recently, I've, well, I've since then, I've bought a house. So, um, I can do what I want to with this one. I ain't got to worry about the landlord saying, you got too much clutter. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I'm not sure if I'll use the opposed motor on this Murray. But either way, I'm trying to get a Vanguard back for the dude that just gave me the Murray. It's my old Vanguard. I gave it to him whenever I got out of the mower scene. I didn't want the stuff just sitting up, so I gave it to these kids, you know, to, so they could have fun with it, use it. Uh, I don't see the point in stuff just sitting up not being used. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's that on that part. Uh, we are about to be at his house here in about one minute or so. So we get there. I'm going to shut the camera off. I, I, I may not record this, but, um, I think it's a, uh, I think he said it was a Murray wide body. I'm not for sure. But, hey, I'm not going to be picky. You know, he gave it to me. So, anyhow, we are just about here. So, I'm going to stop the video right now. And I will uh, continue in a minute. Alright, guys. As you can see, it's the Murray Widebody. Uh, I believe it's got the MST-206 in it. Which... I actually, I actually love. I like the MST two hundred six. Here is the Vanguard. Oh, Vanguard. Uh, the opposed eighteen point five needs a little bit of work, and the Peerless or yeah, Peerless eight twenty. Uh, I'm gonna get this stuff unloaded real quick. They've already took the liberty of putting a gas gas pedal on there. <laughs> Pretty neat little design there. That they use the old pillow block housing. Hey, it works. But I'll let my daughter here take the camera. Since this is a vlog, I guess y'all want to see me doing whatever it is I do. So we'll start by getting this clearing out of the way right here. There we go. That's that's it. <laughs> That'll be, I started out, I believe, I believe I started out uh, with a Murray. Uh, I believe it had to, yeah, it had a opposed motor on it, so. It won't look like this when we get done with it. But, anyhow, the horde begins. Alright guys, we're over here at, uh, you care if I say your name on camera? Okay. We're over here at Dylan's house. This is the old fella that got the uh, the old Sears Suburban from me. And uh, he just hooked me up with another one. The Murray that I just unloaded at my house, I got from him. 
uh, and we just now got this one. Let me turn the camera around here and I'll show you. All right, check that out. They were fabricating this to be a racing mower. I can't really pop the hood right now because it's in the back. Of, well, I might be able to. Yeah. Yeah, I can. As you can see down there, they were going to put a side shaft on it, right? Yeah. And uh, they were going to make us a racing mower, and he's basically he's on a different project, and he don't want it just sitting here no more, so he's donated than it to somebody me. Somebody else getting it done than just sitting around at my house. Right. So what they've already done, they've done a lot of the hard work already. They've already put a one-inch solid axle in it with a 42, yes, 42 with a sprocket on it. You can see they've actually done a great job on it. I may, uh, I may take and unbolt it and lower it some on the rear. Yeah, my my initial plan with it with it was is to put aftermarket tires on it and like make it a one, oh yeah. Uh, a single drive off-road oh yeah drive yeah mower. okay i got you so basically mud mower with a live axle basically yeah so i was trying to look for a peerless so all you people out there doing your rear ends you're welding them up you're doing it wrong they're gonna fail shame on you doc shame on you todd for telling people they're strong <laughs> just playing <laughs> but this is this is actually what you call a live axle rear end uh it's one one inch axle with the hubs on it they're, uh, they're just hubs. right there it keeps it from coming off so yeah i can see some improvements and he even left the license plate on there <laughs> see in missouri man you get these things built you can get these lit okay i lied you can't legal these but anyhow yeah we'll figure out something to do with this it'll be pretty cool so he's nice enough to donate this stuff to me oh, yeah. i've helped him out and gave him stuff and now i'm actually trying to buy something that i gave them but i really want it back it's, it's a vanguard motor and i don't think i'm gonna get it back but <laughs> but we'll, we'll see what we can work out anyhow yeah i could use a lot of stuff off this and turn it into something cool